What if the oceans were drinkable? Imagine standing by the shore, the waves crashing gently against your feet, and instead of salty water, you taste pure fresh water flowing endlessly across the horizon. The world would change overnight. No more thirst. No more struggle for clean water. Nations would rejoice as the greatest problem in human history is solved. But nothing comes without a price. The oceans cover more than 70% of our planet. They are the lungs of Earth, producing over half of the oxygen we breathe, and they depend on salt. Salt keeps the balance of life within them. Without it, everything begins to fall apart. Coral reefs would start to die. Fish would lose their natural habitat. Millions of marine species would vanish in silence. The balance of the ecosystem would collapse like a tower of sand in a storm. The tides would act differently because salt gives water density. Without it, currents slow down, changing global weather patterns. Storms could become unpredictable. Some areas might freeze, others could burn. And what about us humans? At first we celebrate. Cities near the coast build massive water plants to collect and distribute the endless supply of fresh water. Agriculture booms. Deserts turn green. Life seems perfect, but the oceans begin to fight back. Fresh water evaporates faster. Rain falls endlessly. Floods drown entire cities. Rivers overflow, and the balance of the planet is lost. The salt once hidden in the seas now lies deep in the earth, causing soil to harden, plants to die, and crops to fail. The dream of infinite water becomes a curse. Animals that once relied on salt water adapt in strange ways. Some evolve. Some vanish. The great whales lose their sense of direction. Turtles cannot hatch properly, and plankton, the base of the ocean's food chain, slowly disappears. The air becomes thinner, less oxygen is produced, and humanity starts to feel the cost of what it wished for. Maybe the salty taste of the ocean was never a flaw. Maybe it was the secret that kept life alive for millions of years. So next time you stand by the sea and feel that salty breeze touch your lips, remember, that salt is what makes the earth breathe.